Good afternoon, everyone. Today I'm out here in the beautiful Blue Ridge Escarpment of Northern South Carolina. And today I'm going to be looking for the green salamander, but not just any green salamander. Um, the green salamanders here on the Blue Ridge Escarpment are a unique lineage. They are very isolated from all other populations of green salamanders, and they are very distinct genetically. Um, so distinct, in fact, that they will likely be split into a full species soon. So, long story short, I have found both northern and southern clades of the normal green salamanders, as well as the recently described hickory nut gorge green salamanders. But I have never found a green salamander here on the Blue Ridge Escarpment, where they look different and use pretty unique habitat as well. So that is the goal today. I'm out here in South Carolina's Blue Ridge. I'm going to be shining these rock crevices here. Um, really excited to see if I can finally see one of these guys. So I'm going to start hiking this habitat here and we will see what we can turn up today. Right here we have the first salamander of the day and it is exactly what I came here to see. This is a Blue Ridge Escarpment green salamander. Um, these are currently described as Aeneides Aeneas, just like the other green salamanders. But these are a very distinct lineage. They are very split off from the other populations of green salamanders. Um, and much like the Hickory Nut Gorge green salamander, Aeneides cariensis, which was recently described, these have not had contact with the other lineages of green salamanders for millions of years. So genetically, they are distinct. They also look a bit different. They're a little bit darker on average, similar to hickory nut gorge greens. Um, they have a little bit less pattern, um, but uh, not quite as distinct as the hickory nut gorge greens. They're not the uh, neon yellow that you see in them, those sometimes. But anyway, uh, these are endemic to the Blue Ridge Escarpment. They are only found in the southernmost portion of the Blue Ridge in North Carolina, a small area of South Carolina, and eastern Georgia. I actually found this salamander out on the crawl right here under this little shaded rock outcropping. Um, sometimes after rains, if you find really shaded areas like that, you can find green salamanders out in the daytime because it is dark and they feel protected enough but yeah, just like all of the other green salamanders, these are really cool. They spend most of their time in these moist rock crevices like what you see right here. Um, so rock outcroppings are where they spend most of their time. But in the summer months, once the trees leaf out and there's vegetation to move through, they actually go arboreal and spend a lot of their time up in the trees. And that is because they are climbing salamanders. They eat a lot of insects that you can find up there. Um, actually way up off the ground in the trees. Um, these are Aeneides, so they are the climbing salamanders. And other than the hickory nut gorge green salamander, which recently got split off from Aeneides Aeneas, these are the only members of their genus in the eastern United States. So all of their other um, relatives, the rest of the Aeneides, are out west in California, and one species is in New Mexico. So pretty cool. I imagine this used to be a much larger genus at one time. As you can see, these guys are excellent climbers. Just check out these long sticky toes right here. Much like a tree frog. Uh, really well um, specialized for climbing these rock formations and climbing trees. This is a good looking adult here. Classic pattern for this lineage. Um, this is actually the first time I have ever found this species in South Carolina, so it's cool. I'm just getting to see how this individual looks here and getting a look at the habitat. Right here, we have a little silverfish. Um, these are some of the things that these salamanders eat when they're hanging out in these dark, damp crevices. But anyway, really awesome Blue Ridge Escarp Escarpment green salamander um, target acquired. So I'm going to take some photos of this little guy here and keep on working this beautiful habitat, and we will see if we can find some more today good start to the day so far and right here is a closer look at this beautiful little blue ridge escarpment green salamander um really could not have asked for a better individual for my first one here in the state of south carolina super stoked to see these guys finally um, these are actually the last green salamanders that i had to find um, I have found both the northern and the southern clades of the normal green salamanders, Aeneides aeneas, as well as the hickory nut gorge green salamanders. But until today, I had never seen the Blue Ridge Escarpment greens. So 
really awesome to see. This is such a great looking salamander, but I'm going to quit bothering it now and put it right back up here on this little ledge where I found it, and we will see what else we can find today. All right, guys, this is a crevice I cannot reach, and I know this is blurry, and you might not can see this, but if you look closely, you'll see a little face that just went in right here. It is just peeking out at me, and that is green salamander number two for the day. And right here we have green salamander number three for the day. Um, I just fished this guy of a rock crevice right over here in the corner of this big boulder, and moved him to the shade here where we can get some good videos of him um, really good looking green um, a bit more vibrant than the last one we found but notice it still has the really dark body um, similar to the hickory nut gorge green salamander in neodys cariensis but the green on these guys is a bit more of a true green whereas the uh, cariensis are normally but not always more of a uh, almost a yellow coloration or at least a lemon lime type of green but these are some really attractive greens here in the Blue Ridge Escarpment. Um, I'm happy to have seen two. This is another good sized adult here. This is the average size that these salamanders um, get to be. They can be a bit larger, but this right here is a nice, healthy, average sized individual. Just look at this little guy climb. They are excellent climbers. Um, they use these long toes and their uh, prehensile tails to climb really vertical surfaces. I want to keep this guy from going into the uh, sandy area up here because I don't want it to dry out. That's really uh, sandy back in there. But anyway, I'm going to get some good photos of this little green as well, and we will see what else we can find today. Good afternoon everyone. I just met up with my buddy Joe here to do some hiking in the North Georgia Piedmont. Um, it has been a couple of days since you guys last seen me with the Blue Ridge Escarpment Green Salamanders in South Carolina. So we're just out here doing some hiking and flipping for um, Eastern King Snakes, maybe some cane break rattlesnakes if we get lucky. But um, yeah, we have a couple of hours this evening so we're going to hike through this habitat here and see what we can find. All right, so our first herp of the day here. You can see too under this little piece of tin is this adorable little baby box turtle here. Um, always cool to see eastern box turtles. Um, normally you see adults. It is not very often that you get to see some this young. So really adorable little turtle here. Perfect habitat. Um, nice mixed pine and hardwood forest. A little bit of a ridge top clearing here. It's been raining really heavy, so I imagine this little turtle is trying to um, take shelter and dry out under this piece of tin here but um, really good looking little turtle always cool to see these baby box turtles a nice change of scenery from the adults that are sometimes pretty common over the summer months but anyway I'm just going to put this piece of tin back here and leave this little guy to what he is doing and we will see what else we can find today all right after an entire evening of flipping and not seeing anything Joe and I just flipped this big piece of tin here Got this gorgeous little yellowish, um, looks like a yearling little eastern king snake here. Not super big bands on this little guy. It has some Niagara influence being in the Piedmont of um, borderline western Georgia here. It's kind of heading towards Black King Range, so you can see the influence, but these are mainly eastern kings here. Um, still really gorgeous snakes, nice yellowish coloration. Not the biggest bands, but the bands are there. So um, evening made, I don't care if I don't get anything else. I'm happy with this little guy. Um, it's actually, um, it's been storming all day. Been storming for the last couple of days, and we have this nice little sunny um, few hours here in between the rain. So, really good weather to be flipping tin and hiking for snakes. But anyway, I'm going to put this little king snake down and get some good photos of it, and we will get a closer look. All right, here's a closer look at this really good looking little eastern king snake here. Upon closer inspection, this snake is actually in shed. You can see the little clouded eyes, and that is insane for as vibrant as this little king is. Normally when they're in shed, they're not the best looking snakes. I can only imagine what this little guy would look like out of shed. So incredible, just look at those bands. Um, 
Really the lighting here in the shade is not doing this little guy justice, but still for an inch shed yearling Eastern King Snake, I think that's about as pretty as it gets. But anyway, it's posing really nicely for us here. So we're going to keep on photographing it, put it back under its little piece of tin and keep on flipping. And we will see if we can find some more snakes this evening. Between his size, his patterning, the fact that he's in shed and still looks like that. And the next snake of the day is this attractive little southern ringneck snake here. Really vibrant belly and ring on this guy. Kind of a light colored snake. Um, decent little average sized adult. Um, really common snakes under cover even this time of the year, especially after rains and cooler weather like this. We are in, I'm heading into late September now, so not too surprising. But um, yeah, nice little southern ringneck snake. I'm going to put it back under this um, slab right here and we will see what else we can find today. Good afternoon everyone. It is now the following evening. It has been a day since you guys last seen me with that little eastern king snake yesterday evening. And as you can see here, I'm out doing some hiking through some beautiful um, pine savanna habitat here in the North Georgia mountains this evening. So um, there's a lot of really cool stuff here. It's not the best time of day for diurnal species. It's only about 70 degrees, but there's a pretty good window to hike for some stuff here. So I'm going to make my way through this habitat and we will see what we can find this evening. All right, first snake of the afternoon is this gorgeous little montane corn snake that Yachten just flipped underneath this piece of tin here. And this one appears to be in sheds, pretty dark being a montane corn, but um, still not a bad looking corn snake. Um, they're really good looking up here in this um, relictual montane um, longleaf pine forest I'll try to get this snake out in the sun here because it is dark but wasn't really doing it justice in the shade but anyway really good looking montane corn snake here we are going to take a minute and get some good photographs of this snake and then put it back under its tin and uh, keep on working this habitat we will see if we can find some more corns or something even cooler here in just a little bit all right, right here is a closer look at this beautiful little montane corn snake. Now that we have it posing for photos here, it's chilled out, not moving around so much. Um, again, in shed, but considering that, it's a really pretty one. A lot of these montane corns are dark like this, even out of shed, but this one, you can tell it would be a really vibrant orange, beautiful little corn snake out of shed. Um, but yeah, really good looking snake. Beautiful habitat here too, this montane longleaf pine forest. There's a lot of cool stuff up here. Um, but yeah, good looking little North Georgia corn snake. We're going to put this snake back under its piece of tin and keep on hiking and we will see what else we can find this evening. So it has now been a couple of days since you guys last seen me with that corn snake in the North Georgia mountains. I did not find anything else that evening, so today I'm heading down to the sand hills of central Georgia to do some hiking and some road cruising for snakes. So hopefully that will work out, but if it does, I'm going to put that footage in the next video. Uh, I feel like it's a good time to end this video here, so like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. Do all that good stuff, and I will see you guys as soon as I find some snakes. So thank you so much for watching.